Hey guys, Chris here. I didn't receive this item free. I paid full price for it. And uh, I've actually had it for a while and I wanted to do a full shakedown, but this is the Power Add Charger Center uh, compact uh, portable generator. It's not really a portable generator until you add solar panels to it. So basically it's just a, a big battery. And what I'm doing here is actually draining this battery. It comes with a little modified sine wave 100 watt inverter on top there and hooked up my kilowatt meter to it and the LCD LED TV out in the back porch here and I started at about 94 percent on the fuel gauge state of charge according to the its indication just rigged up a little you know over the air antenna here it actually does work I'm so close to the city I can pick up a lot of over the air high definition even with that little piece of wire but uh, the load on this little battery bank is about just under 14 watts AC producing about 110 volts current draws about 0.32 and I uh, don't have any kilowatt hours yet on there so what I'm doing is I want to take this battery all the way down and the whole goal was to see how far or how long it'll take to charge it back up. And here's the input I'm going to use to hook up to, with solar. And there's the where I'm at right now. It has a uh, really bright LED. I'll show you here in a minute on there. And there's the power button underneath that. This strap looks cool, but I mean, it's already fraying. <laughs> you need to do a better job with that. Here on the side, it has four USB outlets. And the blue one on the right side is QC 3.0, so it has the for you know rapid charge if you got an iPhone or whatever. Over on this side, it has some 12 volt outlets, 5 amp there on the left, and a little bit higher voltage, you know, like for a laptop and a switch there. Uh, it also comes with a lot of connectors and adapters for any of your DC appliances. All right, now we're here at night. I've been running this thing for, gosh, I want to say about 6.5 hours or so, and got the state of charge on the fuel gauge there down to 19%. I would assume that that is what it means. Here I am just testing the light here. Kind of hard to see, so I sped it up. I'm making this a two-part video, by the way, because I, I just I just don't like long videos, but that, that light is really, really bright. Okay, now in the morning, I ran it for a couple more hours and was watching the morning news with the cute little weather girl and actually brought the unit down to zero. And as you can see, it's at 6% right now. I actually got about almost a couple hours at 19. All right, so what it is, I hooked up the uh, timer and plugged it into AC for charging. And about five minutes in, and you can see I'm at about ooh, 1%. <laughs> All right, and then about two hours and 28 minutes later, about 51%. And lastly, I'm gonna call it about five hours to go from zero to 100. <laughs> of course, that was on AC. I'm gonna use my 100 watt solar panel array and charge this baby up using solar and see how long it takes. That'll be in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is a cool little unit and uh, really enjoy testing this baby out. Later.